I'm Giz, and uh, this is my construction estimating program. I'm a builder, I uh, live in Melbourne, and uh, this program's been around for five or six years, and uh, it's in use by thousands of builders throughout the world. Now, I just uh, what I've done is just shrunk it down here to give you a quick overview of uh, what the program looks like, so you, so you'll sort of know where you are, and then I'll make it a bit bigger and we'll go, in, go into a bit more detail. This is your main summary page. It's got a fair bit of stuff on it, as you can see. And we'll just slide down here and have a look down a bit lower. Alrighty. And if we jump across uh, quickly to one of the worksheets, say the carpenter worksheet, uh, again, fairly comprehensive uh, at the moment. It all looks pretty confusing, but um, we'll sort all that out later with you once we get going. So we'll just have a quick look down here. So now you know what we look, well, where we are. We'll jump back to the summary page. Uh, let's change our view to, uh, to 100%. Okay, here we are. Now this is your main, your main summary page uh, of the spreadsheet, and uh, all your uh, all your pricing ends up back here uh, from the worksheets. Uh, it totals up in this column here, and as you see, you can get down here. Uh, you've got a couple of different ways of putting in your profit. You can either put it in as an amount here or a percentage here. Uh, you get your total. Uh, your tax is worked out from a tax calculator, so that's why it works in any country. Uh, you know. Australia we've got 10%, here's our little tax calculator down here, but we can change the tax and that'll change the tax throughout the whole program for you. Alright, uh, going back down a bit further, we've got a few buttons here that'll um, quickly take you to different areas of the spreadsheet. Uh, we've got a few websites which you can change these to go wherever you want. Uh, and uh, Then we've got a little area down here that we use to um, just to write in that uh, you know, we might need to still check on the painting or whatever else just to finish off this quote. Okay, let's go back up here and the way we'd normally start a quote like this would be uh, we'd, we'd go to the project details. Here we'd end, uh, enter in, uh, we'd already have our company details here which will go through to some invoicing in the pro program itself. Uh, the project name, uh, a little bit over here, we can have a, we can sort of set, do a bit of a quick estimate of the project. Uh, you know, like quickly we might uh, have a bit of a veranda that's going to cost us 1200 bucks a square metre. And uh, there you go, it'll bring up the total. So that's just our um, uh, first area that we go to. Okay, now let's just quickly go over the summary page. All these uh, results here come from your worksheets. Uh, then as the project develops, you'll have costs that you can uh, put into the different worksheets and they'll, they'll arrive here in your actual job cost. This will then give you a um, profit and loss based on what your estimate was and what your actual was with a percentage. Then over here we can also uh, enter the invoices into the into the program uh, and we can change these from being unbilled to uh, to build as we uh, bill them out to the client, especially and this is very handy if you're doing a cost plus job. Um, further along here we can enter all their progress payments that we receive. Any extras payments go here and end up down here. It'll tell you what you've got uh, down here a little bit. We can enter all our contract drawdown stages. You've seen the tax calculator. You can easily stick a photo of the job in here. These little buttons take us to all different parts of the spreadsheet quite quickly using a uh, using the macros. And as I said before, you've got an area down here where you can just uh, sort of check some items as you're, as you're sort of developing the quote. Okay, now if uh, we want to enter some items in here, let's say uh, there's nothing in, uh, say, reinforcing. So let's just jump quickly to that page. And uh, let's say we uh, wanted to um, get some uh, uh, some slab mesh in here. Uh, it's shown by the sheet, but you can choose whatever uh, item you like down here, or you can just write it in. So it's uh, by the sheet. It might be going to cost us... Uh, the labour, you know, let's say it's going to cost us $350 to put some mesh in. The materials are going to cost us uh, two, 258 There's no other cost. Our little num unit, now this ca always comes, this little num unit, if you write an item here, num comes up to tell you you've got to put, got to put a unit in. So it's per sheet and labour. Mm, pretty expensive sheets of mesh, but anyway, it's made of gold. Let's, uh, <laughs> Let's chuck in that we're doing uh, six of them, six of them, and then now we've got a total. Now, totals appeared down here. See that there? 
OK. And what would happen there, we just jump over to the summary page, see and reinforcing, that item's ended up ended up here. Now if we uh, if we go back to reinforcing and we put in the actual job cost here, so we might say A R C steel cost us uh, yeah, much was it? Yeah, three seven oh oh. Uh, it's already worked out the tax off the tax calculator for you. There's the item day and uh, day of the month of the year. You know, well, you know how this works through the whole. And then, now yeah, three, two, four, dash zero, eight, and uh, it, it appears as unbilled. Now, if that item was already um, had been billed out to the client, this is quite easy. You just click on there, Control C, copy over there, Control V, build. Now we go back to the summary page, and we'll see that uh, in reinforcing, uh, there's been a profit and loss, and th the item is showing up here as uh, ha as having been billed. All right. Now another part of this way this uh, spreadsheet works is the uh, is the carpenter page. Uh, now on the uh, so this is, this is uh, shows you how how well you can set up a program like this. See these little items here. They're quick links back to the pricing page. Now all these all these prices here are coming from the pricing page. So you can go into your pricing page and preset your template uh, as to what all your prices are for your area. So let's say, for instance, our, our subfloor framing. We can click on here to see how we'd set up the subfloor framing. We'll go up the top of the page and uh, find it. Here we are, subfloor fr framing. That's the price there that's showing up on the other on the other carpenter page. We go down uh, go down here to subfloor framing, and we've worked. This is how we've worked it out. We've uh, you know the in, in an area of say seven by seven meters, but you can work out whatever system you want. This is the system I use, based on the seven by seven meter area using F17. We've got 92 lineal meters of bearers at three dollars sixty six. Gives us that. Now we can update all these prices. Um, this uh, everything in green here, uh, the uh, the hourly rates, and uh, they're just matched up over here to here. So if I change that to, you know, fifty five. Now everything in green over here is now at. Uh, at uh, 55, that's our labour rate, $55 an hour. <coughs> but as you can see, you get all these updated, get everything ready to go uh, on your template, and then you can just do job after job after job, and it's easy to upgrade. Okay, so you've got all this now. Let's just quickly go back over here. So we can jump back to our carpenter page. So you see all these prices are over here. So all we've got to do is when we're pricing a job, if you don't see it with the screen, but uh, say sheet flooring, this one here, oh, there, there, subfloor framing. Just put a number in here, and we've got 140 square meters, and then in goes our price. It's already pre-programmed for us. So, and this price just tables up down here. There's our total, total, and that all just goes, takes us back to the uh, to the summary page, which has appeared on Carpenter. Now, if you go back into Carpenter, here's something else. You know, all these, all these go back to those quick links, so you can check on how you. How you actually did your prices? Well, let's find the doors calculator. That's a little beauty. This one. Go down here, and uh, we've got all our doors set up. You put all your pricing in. You know how you hate working out doors. Oh, I do. Anyway, you know, say if we want to add some more solid, solid prime doors, you know, ten, ten of these guys, and make them in. There we go. You know, that's 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 easy. It's it's all just showing up down here. Okay, jump back to our uh, summary page. I've got little quick click buttons everywhere because I like moving quickly on a spreadsheet. Uh, go back to the carpenter page. Back up here, it's all appeared, as you can see. Uh, jump back to our summary page, and there we go. That's how we're sort of sorting out our our carpenter. Uh, okay, now uh, anyway, look, I think you got the guts on uh, how to how to put your pricing in. It's pretty easy. Okay, move on to our video two.